Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about loops in Python. And this tutorial will be focusing completely on while loop. So what exactly are loops in Python? So loops in Python are used to execute a particular set of code over again and again, right? So iteratively uh, run the particular code again and again until the condition is evaluated as true. So in the while loop, what happens is there is an expression that gets evaluated. And then if the expression is evaluated as true, the while loop, whatever body is there below the while loop that will get executed. So let me quickly open the notepad. And here I have prepared some notes. So I'll copy those and I'll create a new Python file. And I'll say while loop demo. Let me paste everything here and comment out all of this. Okay. So here you see that used to iterate block of code as long as test expression is true. So that's what while loop does here. If you see the bottom two line are the syntax of the while loop in Python. So while is the keyword that is used and then test expression is the expression that will be evaluated. So in while loop, this expression will be evaluated prior to getting into the body of the loop, right? So if this test expression is evaluated as true, then it will go within the body. And you see this indentation is important in Python because Python doesn't have any curly braces as such like in Java. So this indentation will ensure that any line of code that is below while loop is the body of the while loop right so as far as this test expression is evaluated to true then it will go into the body of the loop and it will execute any number of lines that are below this loop as far as they are indented if the indentation is over that means that loop has over okay that section of the code has got over and then conditions are used to stop the loop so if the condition is evaluated to false then it will stop the loop and we can use while loop to iterate over list strings tuples and a dictionary so let's go ahead and quickly understand a very basic while loop in python so as we have understood about the syntax now say for example i have to write very very simple while loop so how i can start with i will simply take a variable x and say for example my variable x holds the value zero okay now i will use the while loop so i want to print the numbers from 0 to 10 or 0 to 9 so say for example how i will use the while loop so i'll say while x is less than 10 all right or i want to print up to 10 so i'll say while x is less than or equal to 10 so this is my test expression okay so this is what the text expression is and then followed by colon okay now as I'll enter, you will see that indentation by default will automatically be considered because I'm below this while loop. Okay. Now here I want to print. So for example, I want to print X. Okay. So what will happen is in this particular case, X is less than uh, X is equal to zero. So X holds the value zero. And when this while loop will get evaluated, X is zero at the moment, X is less than 10 and it will come down or it will come to the body of the while loop. Okay. Now let me come out of the while loop. So how to come out? I'll just remove the indentation and I'll print a statement here and I'll say out of while loop. Okay. Now what do you think will happen in this particular case? So here X will be printed. So zero will be printed, but what will happen after that? Let's see. Let's execute this and see what will happen. Okay. You will see that it is printing zero and it's going gone into the infinite loop. Okay. The reason for that is because so I have to kill the process. So I've just pressed the uh, stop button there. So what happens is I'm not manipulating any of the values of the X. So it comes into the while loop. It prints the value as zero and then again, basically, uh, because X value is still a zero, right? So it, it basically goes back and again checks the value of X still less than 10 and it keeps into, uh, keeps printing that infinite zero, right? It goes into the infinite loop. Now, 
the next thing that we have to do is basically we we need to con we need to provide a condition or this condition we need to change this condition so that this condition gets evaluated to false or whatever we are looking for we do not want infinite loops to be executed so in that particular case what we'll do is say for example once this x is printed i want to print from 0 to 10 so i'll increment the value of x by 1 so i'll say x is equal to x plus 1 so after printing 0 this statement will be executed so value of x will now be 1 it will go back to the while loop here it will check the condition again now 1 is less than 10 it will come back print 1 and then it will evaluate up to 10 so as far as it goes to 10 uh, 10 is equal to 10 10 is less than or equal to 10 yes it will come print 10 and then it will add 1 to it okay as soon as it will add 1 it will become 11 and it will come back to the while loop here 11 is less than 10 less than or equal to 10 this will evaluate to false right so as soon as this condition is evaluated to false or the expression is evaluated to false the loop body won't be executed anymore the control will jump out of this while loop and come to this particular print statement and out of while loop will get printed all right so let's run this and see the results okay so here now you can see that from 0 to 10 has been printed and then out of while loop got printed okay so this is a very very basic and simple while loop that you can write in python okay now if i write a print statement here okay so this is inside while right so this is inside while loop so this print statement because the indentation is along the lines of this these statements so this print statement is inside will be considered inside the while loop and this print statement is outside the while loop so if i run this now so after every number that gets printed there will be inside while be printed as well so zero and then inside while one and inside while right because with every print statement print x and then print inside while is part of the while loop so that's why it's getting printed and then once the while loop gets over out of the while loop gets printed all right so this is very brief introduction about the while loop now as we have also understood that you can use while loop to iterate over list strings tuples and dictionary this is what we'll be using in the automation okay so let me quickly explain you how you will be iterating over the list and strings so let me take an example of string first okay so say for example i have a string um, variable city and which holds the value melbourne okay let me comment out all these lines and now how can i use the while loop to iterate over this particular string now string as we have understood in the previous tutorial if you haven't watched that tutorial go ahead and watch that tutorial it's in the same series in the same list so strings are you know um, arrays so you can access the values of the string so these alphabets by the indexes so now using the while loop we can achieve the same thing so i'll define a variable x and say for example x holds zero okay and city is the variable which holds the string melbourne now i want to print or i want to iterate over this string using the while loop so what i'll do is i'll say while and i'll say while it x is less than as we know that the index starts with zero so that's why i'm having the value zero okay here so i'll quickly explain it let me write the code first so while x is less than so we are trying to iterate over this particular string so we need to first know what is the length of this particular string okay so there is a method or function as we have understood length len and then we'll say of city so length of city will give me the length of this particular string okay so while x is less than length of city so here it will count the length and that will be returned so that will be an integer okay 
So now we want to iterate through this city and we want to print the values. So what we'll do is we'll simply say print and then we want to print the values. Okay, so we want to print the alphabets that are there within this particular string. So we'll say print city and the index that we are passing. So in the first iteration, what will happen is the value of x is 0. 0 will be less than length of the city. So length of the city will be counted um, as the uh, length of this particular whole string. So 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, right? So 0 is less than 9. This will return as 9. So it will print the city and a zero. So at the zeroth index, m is there. So m will be printed. Okay. Then same as we did here, we'll increment, right? So we'll increment the index. So we'll say x is equal to x plus one, right? Because we do not want to go into the infinite loop. Okay. So now as we'll run, you will see that all the alphabets will be printed on the console. So here you can see in the first iteration m has been printed and then accordingly the whole values of the string has been printed on my console right so this is how you will use the while loop to iterate over the string now if we talk about list that's absolutely similar and simple i would highly recommend you to go ahead and practice how you will be iterating over the list there is very very minimal change as compared to this program here so i would encourage rather than me explaining everything in this particular video um, go ahead and practice how you will iterate over list using the while loop all right so that's all for this particular tutorial about while loops in python i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching